वेलकम टू टुडे टॉपिक और टुडे टॉपिक इज सुपरपोजिशन ऑफ वेव्स इनिशियली स्टेटमेंट इज व्हेन टू आर मोर वेव्स ट्रैवलिंग साइमल्टेनियसली इन ए मीडियम द रिजल्टेंट डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज द अलजेब्रिक सम ऑफ द टू इंडिविजुअल वेव्स टू एक्सप्लेन दिस कांसेप्ट आई हैव टू कंसीडर two waves the first wave is having the displacement that is y1 and the second wave is also traveling in the same medium and like this now these two are superimposing each other when two or more waves here we are taking only two waves when two or more waves traveling simultaneously in a medium the resultant displacement resultant displacement what will be happen according to the statement what they have given is y equals to y1 plus r minus y2 y equals to y1 plus r minus y2 what is y what is y1 what is y2 y1 is the displacement of the first wave y1 is the displacement of the first wave displacement of first wave then in the absence of in the absence of second wave in the absence of second wave similarly y2 is the y2 is the displacement of the displacement of the displacement of the second wave in the absence of first wave in the absence of first wave here y is the resultant what is resultant these two are overlapping what will be happen so for example if i take in the displacement the maximum displacement of the first wave that is also called as amplitude a and the second wave is also a a and a here both the waves are traveling in a same phase maintaining same phase and traveling in a same direction okay plus or minus plus when we will take this plus sign when we will take this minus sign then we will take that positive sign is if both the waves are traveling same direction we will take the plus sign here both the waves are traveling in a same direction so then we have to take the statement or expression as y equals to y1 plus y2 therefore y equals to y1 maximum displacement that means a and displacement of the second a that is a plus a that equals to 2a that means the first wave is having the amplitude a and the second wave is also having the amplitude a then the resultant amplitude becomes 2a so the resultant amplitude becomes 2a here what is happening is the first wave of the crest is coincide with the second wave of the crest and the first wave of the trough is coincide with the second wave of the trough then first wave of the crest is coincide with the second wave of the crest our first wave of the trough is coincide with the second wave of the trough the resultant displacement becomes maximum that means increases this resultant displacement can be called as amplitude there is a relation between intensity and amplitude that is intensity is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude that implies i equals to a square that means i equals to a which is equals to 2a that means 2a whole square 2a whole square 2a whole square means 
फोर ए स्क्वेर दिस इज द मैक्सिम इंटेंसिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द फर्स्ट वेव इज ट्रेवलिंग इन ए क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन एंड अनदर वेव इज ट्रेवलिंग इन ए ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन द फर्स्ट वेव दट मीन्स वाई इक्व वाई y1 minus y2 when both the waves are traveling in the opposite direction that means this is the first wave it is having the amplitude a and this is the second wave traveling those two are super imposing there then the resultant intensity becomes here actually if the amplitudes are same we can get the zero intensity if the amplitudes are not same we can get the minimum intensity here we will see so this is the amplitude a this is the amplitude a so when this it is in the upward direction or clockwise direction and these two are in out of phase these two are in out of phase so that means y equals to here we can take in the expression as a y equals to y1 minus y2 therefore y equals to y1 is positive y2 is negative side a minus a zero therefore this is the resultant displacement that means maximum displacement that is amplitude therefore according to the intensity and amplitude relation i equals to a square that equals to zero that is zero intensity this is the principle of superposition of waves Here we should remember only one thing: what when the both the waves are in maintaining opposite phase or out of phase means the first wave of the crust is coincide with the second wave of the trough, or first wave of the trough is coincide with the second wave of the crust. Then we can get the minimum intensity in the superposition, zero intensity in the interference. Okay. Thank you.